going on guys Garrett Craft here and today we are back from an episode here on the city we are here for episode number 18 of Huntington today today guys we're going to be working on some planning over here for this plot because this plot is going to be the next plot we work on um, but since then I'm going to show you guys all the progress that we've got done on the last week or so since we've uploaded a Huntington video so let's hop right into it so as you guys saw on the stream we had this building done uh, since then, we've got all the aircon units on top of the buildings. Right here, I added a um, helipad, which is pretty nice. So if you want to, you know, this is kind of going to be like an older luxury. I mean, it's going to be a luxury hotel, but it's going to be older as well. So, like, you know, there might be people that live here that are have a lot of money and they just, you know, land their helicopter on top because they're like it really you know people that have a lot of money so they can obviously do that so they give them the uh royalty to do that here and yeah so we've got that on top of this building um this building here we did in the let's build a t let's build tutorial if you guys didn't check that out um we've got the first floor here um i'll just fly in real quick i'll show you guys so um we'll fly up in here and third floor i just gotta copy it now but that's all so in here we've got the desks we've got tvs a little uh, middle pillar there bathrooms and a little check-in area of your meeting with somebody right there so that's pretty much all we did if you want to check that out go check out the let's build a office building um it's like my last video i just posted so if you want to see the building of it check it out um so yeah that's another thing we did um, we also added some more um, street lights and street lamps and trees going down here. Thanks to Zaman from on the stream. He helped a lot of his channels in the featured channels list. Um, his link should be in the description. It never shows up, but I put it in there. I don't know why. I'll try to fix it if I remember. Um, but yeah, we added three more buildings right here. I'll show you guys those right now. So this building right here is kind of a motel, hotel, little, you know, old style like 70s hotel you know what i mean so it's one of those just three stories well four if you count the bottom but just gonna just have breakfast buffet and a check-in area and stuff like that so that's not a bad building i actually kind of like that building it fits in perfect right there oh my god he's just spamming me guys give me a second but anyway um right here we've got um let me just yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, right here we have a corner office building. Um, it's kind of modern, I guess you could say. Other, I mean, I don't really know other than that, but yeah, we've got a nice modern office building here with acacia, um, sandstone. It's pretty nice. I actually really like this building. We found it online too, so it's, you know, pretty nice. Um, and then here we've got a little just red building like I do all the other ones. Just shoved in the corner right here, so. It's pretty good. Um, this one actually, I like how it is. It's kind of a split level. So, like, you have to walk up to get inside because the stair, the ups, it's above the street level. I kind of want to start doing that more on the buildings that I build. So, you, to get into the inside, you have to walk upstairs. So, I want to start doing that on some of my buildings where you have to walk downstairs or upstairs to get to the first level. I think that would add a little bit more character to the city and just, you know, spice it up a little bit. Instead of just having every, f you know, building you walk in from the ground and just walk inside. So, um, so that's all the exterior stuff. So let's go ahead and show you guys the interiors that we have done. So we'll start over here with this building, which is just kind of an office building. Um, we'll go on and show you the inside in one second. Um, so this is Zaman. Well, I built it, but this is Zaman's interior. So if you guys don't like it, uh, it's not my pro. But it's pretty nice interior, so you should like it. So here we've got a little uh, antique store. Um, it's actually pretty nice. It's got the perfect, you know, colors for an antique store. I love the ceiling with it, too. It's just perfect. Still have to come up with a name. Grandma's Antiques was the one we were thinking of so far. But other than that, we don't really know. So we've just got a bunch of random crap all, all over the place here. And this is a little just 
stair up here to get things off the bookshelf. Um, and then mannequins, all the such. So, yeah, that's just basic Minecraft antique store right there. Pretty good. Zam man built that. So, yeah, if you want to go check him out, his YouTube channel is in the description. Um, here we've got a little office building. Um, so we got a little kitchen here, a little eating table there, and obviously the cubicles for working, and the meeting areas back here for one-on-one -on -one meetings and such. So, that's just copied up to the top. So, yeah, this building is pretty nice, pretty nice. So, Zaman did a pretty good job on this building. Um, I'll give it a 8 out of 10. It's pretty nice. It's not perfect, but it's pretty nice. I like that building. Alright, next building. I don't know why I glitched out for there. Um, next building is this building over here. This is all messed up. I'll have to go in there and fix the staircase. But um, So, I originally told you guys this... Wow, I can't speak. I originally told you guys that this building was going to be a town center shopping mall type of building. Um, so, that's what we turned it into today. So, I'll show you guys what it is. So, if we come out on top, first we've got a skylight right here. It actually goes all the way through the bottom of the building, and I'll show you guys that from the inside as well, and the light that it gives off, and yeah, it's pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and go inside the doors. There's two doors right there and a little side entrance. Um, so first floor, we've got this, which is going to be our cafe slash Starbucks area. So we're going to have a eating area over there and probably a Starbucks over here. We'll have a bunch of tables along this area here, and then... What you do, and we've got the circle here. Um, we were thinking about either adding a water feature in the floor or a tree going up to the like second or third floor, kind of. I think either one would be okay. We're going to try them out, but maybe both. Maybe combined. That would be kind of cool. But, um, yeah, so to get to the second floor, you just go up these stairs right here e on either side, to be honest. Um, if he's going to spam me, that's going to be great because, you know, Yep, he's going to spam me, so let's go ahead and block him real quick. Let me just, uh, let me just turn off my notifications. Okay, he stopped spamming me, because, you know. Um, so here we've got the second floor. These are, um, going to be, like, stores. So this is a bathroom. I'm going to do men's and women's, or women's and men's, I don't know. But there's going to be six stores on each floor. One, two, three, and four, five, six. Whoops, that's not what I want to do. All right, so yeah, we've got that for the floor. Um, they're kind of small stores, but you got enough room, little counter, and you got some wall space, so it's good enough for some floors. Um, and that goes up to another floor up here, which there's two floors of shops and one floor of cafe and such. So there's 12 shops in total in this shopping mall. Not bad. Um, and then right here, the light keeps going all the way up from the roof. And you can see all the way down through each floor, which I kind of like. I was thinking about making a pillar maybe on the corner, taking it all the way up and through just so it's a little bit more connected. I'm not sure about that. We'll see. But uh, for this, it is pretty nice. And that's going to be our last building we're going to tour. We're already like almost 10 minutes into the video. Um, but yeah, we've got that. Um, so this plot's coming along. It's about half done with the interiors. We've got these three buildings done well not this one but i guess it's not really half it's a quarter done with the interiors uh this week i kind of want to get this building these four buildings done right here and then work on those four on the weekend and we should be close to done with that plot it's kind of what i want to work on and then after that we'll move over here on the exterior so like i said we're going to be planning these out today for you guys so let's go ahead and plan out this plot so red concrete as always so We've built four buildings on this plot. This one's Zanman's right here. It's pretty nice. Um, we've got... I'll just show you guys all the buildings so you know what we're dealing with here. Because some of you guys might be new and not know what these buildings are. This is the original um, place that made Buffalo Chicken Wings um, here. It's in Buffalo, obviously. So, um, I forget what it's called already. It's been so long. But we're going to make that into a... Oh, yeah. It's called the Anchor Bar. That's right. Um, but yeah, we're going to make that, um, interior and it'll be pretty nice. I don't know if we're going to try to base it off the real building or not. We'll see. 
Uh, here's a New York Italian building I found online. It's pretty nice. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what most of these buildings are called, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I got a little area out front to eat, and we'll, you know, decorate that up, as always. And then here, I just found this online as well, uh, like Spokane, Washington or something this building is. It's pretty nice. I just decided to build it, and it looks pretty good. So we're going to keep that. Um, and then, obviously, we've got this Starbucks type of building back here, Zanman's building. So let's go ahead and start planning out this plot today. So, for this plot, let's go ahead and explain to you guys what I'm going to do. Um, so, for this plot, it's kind of going to be leading more into the city. So, like, the main part of the city is going to be over this way, kind of where it's cut out. Because um, the stadium and all the uh, lake is going to be over there. So, this part of the city is kind of lower in height. Just, you know, for obvious reasons. So, this plot right here will probably have two or three skyscrapers on it. Then this one will probably have two, three, or four on it. Just, I'm going to keep building, and then out here, like, pretty much all the buildings are going to be skyscrapers except a few, um, and I'm probably going to then curve it back down on the other side of the city and around the edges, so, yeah, that's pretty much the plan at this point. So, this um, plot will probably have two to three skyscrapers on it, most likely two, because these all have one, so this will probably start with two or maybe three, I don't know, we'll see, like I said. So let's go ahead and plan out the skyscrapers, or just the buildings in general. So, uh, right here we'll go ahead and throw down a skyscraper, um, because this is kind of where I wanted to put one of them at. So let's just take this back. I mean, it doesn't have to re be real accurate for right now. I can go ahead and fix with it later, but let's go ahead and just take this down. Let's see where a square would kind of be at. Um, yeah, kind of right there would be a square. I kind of want to, meh, I don't know. We'll see if we can do like a rectangular building on this plot. A rectangular skyscraper on this plot. Let's see here. Whoops. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it's not bad um, for a skyscraper size. I like that. We'll keep it for now. Obviously, like I said, we can edit all this later on. Um, so, yeah. I think another cool feature would have uh, have to be having a skyscraper along this road. So, like, when you're driving down this road, you see a skyscraper right in front of you. I think that would be pretty amazing. So, what we're going to do is, um, right here, obviously, have another row building. So, let's go ahead and plan this out real quick. Um, we'll do, I mean, it's pretty, pretty wide road. So, what if we have it like this? I think that would be a big enough skyscraper to have it from line to line, right? I mean, that's... Maybe not. Let's go ahead and extend it, like... One, two, three, four, five. Like, to the edge of the crosswalk, maybe? That might be big enough. <laughs> For a skyscraper. What do you guys think? Oh, yeah, that's good enough. So, we'll go ahead and take this back a little bit to about right here and we'll take it back over see what this looks like as always but I think that would be amazing coming up to a skyscraper right there oh that would be cool okay um yeah like I said we can always edit these later it's not a perfect square right now but we can go back and fix it um so right here we'll go ahead and add a little bit of an alleyway so like three blocks is good we'll go ahead and just leave that an alleyway and then we'll connect, whoops, we'll connect this to the other building over here. Whoops, we'll do one behind that. Oh my god. Okay, so there we go. We've got two more buildings there, which are pretty nice. Um, especially this. This is my favorite thing right here about this plot. Having a skyscraper right down that road. And that's just going to look amazing from that side, at least. I really am going to like that, I think. So, now that we've got that, we're just going to go ahead and plan out the row buildings again. So, let's go ahead and get out a little bit of a square. Or a square. Mm, let's go ahead and move it back, like, to there, maybe. A rectangle. We'll just have these touching like that, bam. And then this will go back to... 
I think, a little bit farther. Because this is going to be a long plot, so this can have like four buildings between the two skyscrapers. I think this will be good right here, and we can have those kind of like almost cornered near each other. I think that'll be good. That should be able to fit two or three buildings, or four even maybe in there. So that should be fine. So let's go ahead and see how lined up this is. Let me just... I'll take it out one more block. There we go. Yeah, we should be able to fit about four buildings in there. And then at the end of this, we'll have another skyscraper, because why not? To be kind of cornered up with that other building over there to our behind our behind there it is sushi there it is there it is whoops we need to take this far all right let's see how square that is it's about square take it one more right there take this back nope there we go Okay, it's close enough. Like I said, we can always edit it. So we've got that. That's a pretty good plot. I kind of like that going right now. Um, we'll go ahead and add more row buildings going down here. So let's just go ahead and plan this out. And then we'll see what this plot will look like at the end. I kind of want to do like a before and after picture um, of this plot. I want to do it for one of the plots I do, like one of the big plots, and this is a pretty big plot, so I kind of want to like do it for one of these plots, like a before and after picture. So I take a before picture like right now um, or after this video, or actually I can just fly up and use this uh, video as it, and then at the end of the plot I'll fly up and show you guys again and show you the difference. I think that would be pretty cool. What do you guys think? Um, I, th I think that would be an extraordinary idea. If you guys think that's a good idea, let me know down in the comments. I, I really think that's a really good idea. Alright, so let's go ahead and finish this off here. So let's take, whoops, let's just take these down and have these be row buildings. Because we've got three skyscrapers right here, so we're fine, to be honest. So let's take this plot a little farther out than the other one, like right there, bang. Just a little bit farther out. Okay, perfect. There we go. So, there we go. We've got our whole plot kind of decided um, right now. Obviously, it's going to change a little bit from this. And this plot, <sighs> hmm, it'll probably go down to maybe like where that first chunk's loaded in. So, we'll have a few more buildings even on to the end of that. Um, yeah, it'll probably be where that chunk doesn't load right there. So, somewhere around there. Or maybe a little closer. Who knows? But, um, yeah. Uh, so that's where I'm going to leave it for you guys today. Just planning out some buildings, show you guys the progress because it's been a week. Um, one more episode in between these two where I'll probably be either starting on the skyscraper, working on an interior over there, or starting another small building. I'll probably do a speed up on a small building since I haven't done a speed up for like three episodes. That's probably what I'll do. I'll do that small building with a speed up. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, so we'll do that next episode. And then episode 20 is our tour of what we've done on the last 10 episodes, which is pretty much uh, three quarters of that plot, because we had like the front of it done last time. So three quarters of that plot, this whole plot, and then whatever I get done between then and now on this plot. So we have a lot to show next tour video. So I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on it. Um, Twitter and second channel links are down in the description if you guys want to go check them out. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, um, probably in a few days, most likely. Probably a Let's Build an Office tour, most likely. Either that or a mini game video, probably a tour. We'll see. But uh, yeah, like I said, hope you guys did enjoy. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. In Yeah, actually, this menu really pissed me off. You can't see anything when you go in the menu. And yeah. We'll see you guys in a few days with another video. Peace out, guys.